Yo, what's going on, everyone? It's your boy D Lord, and welcome back to another episode of our Kentucky Wildcat NCAA 14 Dynasty Mode series. Of course, using the college revamped mod, man. And we have a pretty, pretty big episode, man. Pretty big episode. We are now two and four on the season, which is not good. Zero oh, and three in the SEC which is not good but hopefully we kind of turn things around now we do have an out of conference game first against Pitt. they are four and three regional tv so we do get some television action man um but hopefully we come out on top of this one when you look at the actual overall ratings we are pretty even with Pitt. now lee corso he wants to pick them to win but hopefully we can get the job done in this one and then of course the next game is going to be against mississippi state and they are winless as of right now. Now, looking at the rest of the matchups in the SEC for week eight, you got South Carolina traveling to Tennessee. Both teams really need a another win. South Carolina has won two in a row. Tennessee has dropped a few. So a big game there. Mississippi State at Colorado. Both teams are winless. Somebody got to win the game, right? Florida and Missouri, man. Florida's been rolling this year. Missouri only one win on the season. Alabama, they keep winning, but they keep dropping. They're now 5-1, and one, but now they are 11th in the polls, which is crazy, man. Arkansas is sitting there at 2-3. and three. Then you have LSU taking on Ole Miss. LSU still somehow in the top 25. They are 2-4. and four. But they are in the top 25. Um, and then you have Georgia taking on Vandy. I, I think I've given up on Vanderbilt winning a game this season. We'll see if they win with it. Now, you guys let me know in the comment section below. Will Vandy win a game this season, man? Then we have Auburn at Texas A&M. This is going to be a good matchup here, man. I don't really know. I'm, I'm a favor of Auburn, but Texas A&M has, um, has been doing pretty good so far this season. Now, as for the quarterback, we're going to be rolling with Terry Wilson once again. Hopefully, he doesn't sell it for us, man, and, and we can get the job done. But taking on Pittsburgh, you see the overall ratings pretty even across the board. Let's hop into it. All right, fellas, here we go, man. First play from scrimmage. You see Pitt coming out in the shotgun formation, man. I don't really know what they're going to try to do. They're going to try to run the ball right away. And look at this, able to get five yards. All right, man, so second to five right now. We're going to the air. We're doing a good job. Can we get the sack? We don't get the sack, but we get the hit. All right, man, so like I said, we need to get a win, bro. We need to get a win, so this is a big game here. Can we get the three and out? And we do just that. I like it. All right, let's see if we can get the ground game working like it has been the last couple. I was just hyping up our run game, man. All right, man. Second down. Let's get those yards back. Here we go. Come across the field. I'll take that. All right. Third down. Yeah, we're running for our life. We got to throw it away and punt the ball, man. So three and outs from both teams. All right. So we have a chance for another three and out. We're, um, we're pressing, man. Bumper run coverage. And, oh, let's go. He dropped it. Yo, did he get hit? I feel like that receiver got hit trying to dive. Yo, he did, bro. I don't, I don't know. Maybe you guys have seen this animation before, man. This, I've, I have not. I don't even know how that worked out, but it's incomplete. All right, man. Third and seven. There it is. First down, baby. I like it. Let's go. Uh, third down, really nothing there. So we just took the yards, and we might go for it. It's like they're playing extremely soft, so maybe, you know, this dig route or even... Let's have Oliver run a dig this way, man. I know he's tired, bro. See if we could uh, get the four yards here. They took everything away, but now we're going to run. Nothing's there. We're going to throw it. And it's going to be caught, Josh Ali, baby. Yo, the, the range of, of emotions and, and thought that went into that play, man. But it worked. And we're in there. Terry Wilson, baby. Touchdown. And down goes LSU again, man. Losing to Ole Miss this time. 34-27. to 27. Like I said, LSU, they're 2-5 two, they're two now. They were 2-4 and four and still ranked. I don't even know how, how that worked. Another draw. Get there. Bro, tackle him. All right. All right, man. So here we go. It's third and seven. Let's get him off. Get him off. He's running. Hey. 
Hey, he fell forward, man. They might be in field goal range, but at this point, I will, I will take that, bro. <laughs> I will take that. Hopefully, we go back down and get points. Hopefully, they miss this. This is a deep field goal attempt, man. What are you looking about? 55 yarder? The kick is up. He has the power. Man, what a kicker. Pressure's coming. Get rid of it. We do. Just in time. Let's go. Allen Daly, and he stays on his feet. Nice juke move. Let's go. What a play, man. Allen Daly Jr., bro, doesn't have the highest overall, but he's been stepping up these last couple of games. All right, here we go. Third. <laughs> Third and nine. Hopefully, Josh Ali maybe can get open on the left. He's not going to get open. But we have the seam route. Can we get it there? We do. And he holds on to a Justin Rigg. Let's throw it. Get the yards. It turns into a lot. And touchdown, Chris Rodriguez. Man, he is in there. We're extending this lead. There we go. First and 10. Oh, he is all by himself, man. All by himself, man. Under a minute left. They're already halfway down the field. And another great throw, man. So they're right back in field goal range. We know the kicker has a leg. Oh, man. All right, man. Our defense got to step up. We're okay with giving up a field goal at this point. We don't want to give up a touchdown. And man, is he going to get in there? Is that a tight crawl? I don't know. I think he's a tight end, bro. It's a big tight end. And so it's first and goal, bro. We're just sending everybody. We're sending everybody. And we got to stop. Good tackle. They're throwing it. Let's go. We get the sack there. Yo, can we get this goal line stand, baby? That would be huge. They have to go no huddle. They're going to go no huddle. We're still. We're still, we might have to call a timeout, bro. Because <laughs> we're out here in the goal line defense. All right, so it's the hurting goal. And, bro, no way, man. What a throw. What a catch. Damn, what a way to end the half. All right, man, so at halftime, you see the stats right here. The running game for us, basically non-existent. So that's something we're going to try to focus on in the second half. I think we're playing good football, but if we can get, you know, more efficiency from the running game, I think that would definitely help. Here you go. Second down. Our pressure came, and we fumbled the football. Pressure came quick, man. I tried to scramble. Probably should have just threw the ball away, man, and... Scary Terry, he had it again, bro. All right, man, so we're in a weird position now. We need to start trying to get a stop. And that is the opposite of getting a stop. We let these guys get to the one. And can we stop them? Hey, another, another big stop, third and goal. Can we get the goal line stand? All right, man, we don't have the tight end covered. <laughs> Or the running back cover. Well, now we have the running back cover. We don't have none of the tight ends covered. So, we'll see. They're throwing the ball, man. They went to the... It was the dude we were covering. And now we're losing. All right, man. So, we're now losing by three. Get a good drive together. That's not, not the start we're looking for. Bro, nine carries for 14 yards, bro. That is putrid, man. That is absolutely terrible. He gets a catch. So, I mean, I guess that's, that's doing okay for him. And speed option, bro. We just need two yards. Fall for. We're going to go for it, man. What? Kentucky lining up under center. Yeah, we have like five plays, bro. Fullback dive, baby. <laughs> and it works. Our limited under center um, plays. But, hey, as long as it moves the chains, I'm not worried about it. No! No, man. I legitly thought he was going to get there, man. Now we're back in another another tough situation. Ah, man. We couldn't get pressure on the quarterback. Bro, that tied in. 
He's been all over the field. Play action, wide open. We missed the dive. This is uh, this is getting getting pretty bad, man. We got to get points on the next drive. All right, guys. If y'all been following me for a while, you guys know, man. We never we never give up. You guys know the model, man. Greatest comeback of all time, even though we're only down 10. But we're still trying to get the comeback, bro. And that's how we start things off. Nice little cutback by Rodriguez. We'll take the seven yards. Here it is. I'm gonna slide. Get that first down. Mm, I think we missed X. We're gonna keep this though. We get the first down. Okay. And ho oh, ho! Terry Wilson running over defenders. All right, third and six, man. Dropping everybody back, but. Oh, there we go. Wide open in the flats, bro. Thomas Jr., look at him go, baby. Look at him go inside of the red zone. We're down to like the 17, 18 yard line. I'm with that. Get the. Oh, Lee, bro. You got to make that catch, man. There we go. Break the tackle. Hey, that's going to take us to the end of the quarter. We're going to let him get a rest after that. Here we go, man. First play, the fourth quarter. Down 10. Rodriguez is going to be short. Fourth and one. We're going, we're going to just kick it. They're telling us to go for it, man. I can't ask y'all what y'all think. Y'all watching this after the fact, man. But if our offensive coordinator said go for it, bro, we're going to trust him. There we go. Keep it. Let's go, man. That's why I trust my OC. All right, fellas. Second to go. little power on power action. We're getting in there. Lower that shoulder. Let's go. Chris Rodriguez, baby. Hasn't been getting a lot of yards at all on the ground, but a big one there. Make this a three-point game, man. We're still in it. Oh, great counter, bro. All right, second down to go to the ground. Let's go. What a hit right there, man. So third down, a chance to get him off. All right, man. Third and three. They're going with the option. We stop it, baby. So the, the defense, they come up with a stop three minutes ago. Our offense gets the opportunity. That's all, that's all we could ask for. All right, here we go. Game is on the line. Can we go down the field? Oh, I think I had RB, but it's okay. We're going to run. We're going to get the first. Hey, I'm cool with that. Oh, let's go. We got some blocks. First down. Hey, I like it. Terry Wilson is tired, but... Hey, bro, he has to stay out here right now. Here we go. Get the first down. Moving the chains again. 130 left. Oh, man, we get hit as we throw it. Third down. We got it's four down territory, though, for us. And... Bro. Uh, I thought we was going to get that throw. That's a Madden throw. That's a throw you make in Madden because you tap it to get the touch pass. and the, It's not going to work in NCAA, man. Now we have to use all three timeouts and hope we get a stop. Here we go, and we missed the tackle. We missed the tackle. It's not over, but it's it's close. Okay, now this is this. Is, they get another. Then now it's over, bro. Trusted our defense. Couldn't get it done. We just can't get it done this season, man. All right, guys, so final score, 24-21. We had the lead, man. We just could not get the job done. Dropping the 2-5 and five is definitely not going to be a good look, man. Um, they did get more yards than us. Very, very close. The turnover battle, we lost it. And you guys know how big that is, man. We just couldn't couldn't win that battle, man. Terry Wilson was 12-20, 174 yards, no touchdowns, two interceptions. Um, at this point, I don't know if it's worth moving on from him. Maybe we do. Uh, Chris Rodriguez, 15 attempts for 39 yards. The run game was just not existent at all. So it really hindered the passing game because you knew, you know, we we're going to have to throw the ball at some point. And look at our receivers. They just did not do 
very much at all. On the defensive side, though, Tianjay Square with nine solo tackles this game, four TFLs. That's crazy. Corker finished with seven. Uh, we did get one sack. Isaiah Gibson got our sack, and then no interceptions, obviously, in the game. All right, guys, so looking through the rest of the SEC, of course, we lost to Pitt, man, which, like I said, very disappointing. Uh, South Carolina defeated Tennessee 28-13. So South Carolina keeping up their winning streak. They have now won three games in a row. Colorado defeating Mississippi State. So Mississippi State still winless, and that's what we play next. Florida just stomping Missouri 44-14, man. Bama beating Arkansas, that's what I call Arkansas, 42-28. Uh, Ole Miss, we've seen that, defeating LSU. Vandy, Vandy pulled off the upset of the season, man. Georgia no longer ranked. You lose to 0-6 Vandy, you are no longer ranked. All right, guys, so let's take a look at the rest of the SEC in Week 8. Obviously, we lost to Pitt 24-21. South Carolina, they beat Tennessee 28-13, to to excuse me, so they keep their winning streak going. It's now at three games. Tennessee, they're now spiraling down. Colorado defeated Mississippi State, so Mississippi State is still winless, and that's what we play next. Florida stops Missouri 44-14. Bama beats Arkansas, or I like to call them Arkansas, 42-28. We've seen Ole Miss defeating LSU. Now, the upset of the season, Georgia falling to 0-6 Vanderbilt, bro. We asked, will Vandy get a win this year? Well, yes. They're going to beat Georgia and take Georgia out of the poll. So last week, we had, what, a 2-4 and four LSU team ranked. 5-2 and two Georgia's not ranked because they lost to Vanderbilt, bro. That is crazy. And then Auburn defeating Texas A&M. Close one, but Auburn, you know, they came out on top. Uh, let's go ahead to week nine, which we are in now. We take on Mississippi State. Somehow this is on national TV because it's a rivalry game. But we play on Thursday. That's that's probably the only reason why it's on national TV, man. Uh, but you have Coastal Carolina at LSU. LSU hopefully can get that bounce back win. Who knows, though, because Coastal Carolina is 5-2. and two. Um, ODU taking on Ole Miss, Arizona State at Arkansas, South Carolina at Missouri, Vanderbilt. You know, can they keep that momentum up? Can they take down another ranked opponent this time to take on Texas A&M? Um, ECU traveling to Auburn, Georgia trying to bounce back against Washington State. Uh, Florida taking on the FCE East team and then Tennessee at Bama, which is the game of the week. For some weird reason, I think Bama's going to walk away with it. They're finally back in the top 10. We'll see, man. But for our game, like I said, it's a Thursday game, so we're not going to be able to keep tabs on the other games. We are playing the winless Mississippi State Bulldogs, man. If we can't get a win this week, I mean, I don't know, man. We, we might as well mail in the rest of the season. All right, guys. So first play for scrimmage, man. Mississippi State, we're going to see what they do here. And they're going to throw the ball right away. We'll see how they play. Hopefully our defense does, you know, somewhat of a better job this game. All right, second and four. And great throw. Great catch. Pick that off. Let's go, baby. Kelvin Joseph. He stays in bounds. We'll take the extra return yards, man. Big play there. Let's go get points, baby. Here we go. First down on the first throw. Bryce Oliver. Here we go. We're going to the ground. Chris Rodriguez. He got some blocks. And he gets about six. Audible to a run. Ah, safety came down. Maybe not. Maybe they're throwing. Or they're blitzing. He's coming. Right receiver wide open. Josh Ali breaks the tackle inside of the 15. Oh, let's go. Keep that. And I thought he was going to get in the end zone. But we're down to the one. We'll be able to punch it in. Feel confident. First and goal. We're in there. Chris Rodriguez untouched. 7 nothing, man. And, oh, man. Coastal Carolina has defeated LSU, man. LSU is 2-6. and six. That's crazy. Let's go, baby. Way to get that set. Who was that, McCall? All right, third and 13, man. Just don't get beat deep. That works. It dropped, man. They got to punt it. Oh, let's go. Best run of the day from Rodriguez. Get rid of it quickly. Josh Ali got jacked up, man, but that's the first down. Make that throw. That was an easy, 
It's supposed to be easy throw. All right, so here we go. It's third and two. And ah, we lose the yard on that shovel, man. I, I think we'll just keep this field goal here. We have the wind on our side. I know we're being conservative, man, but we go up two scores in a game that we desperately need to win. All right, third down. Let's go. First down, baby. All right, third and two. Can we pick this up? No, we're going deep down the field, and we got him. Josh Ali, baby, he came up, tried to press, man. Josh Ali got behind him. Extending our lead. This might be our biggest lead we have had <laughs> maybe all season, man. Oh, out route wide open. Absolutely wide open, man. We don't want them to go down and score that quick. Out route again. This out route is killing us today, man. So they're in field goal range for sure. All right, man. This will be a great time. Come up with another turnover. Right here. And, bro, we... That, that was the turnover right there. Quarterback is running. They get the first, and they, they're going to score, man. KJ Castillo, man. He was running like a man on a mission. There's three defenders on one guy, bro. Somebody has to be blitzing, right? Yeah, they are. He's there. He's there. Let's go. Let's go, Thomas. Let's go, baby. He doesn't have the speed to pull away, but we are down to about the 16. Here we go, Rig. All right, third and inches. We're going to the ground. Can we get it? We get it. And we're going to let that clock go. So I'm not even that mad we didn't get a touchdown yet. All right, so we have all three timeouts. So we're going to let the clock wind down just a little bit more before we run the ball. And I don't mind running it. All three times if we have to. But right here, it don't even take three times because we get in the end zone right there. So we get our 17 lead, uh, point lead right back. Hopefully they don't score before halftime. Then we get the ball first to start things off in the third quarter. All right, so here we go. Five seconds left. You would expect a Hail Mary. There it goes. This happened against, the, against Bama, bro. I don't know why we can't stop Hail Marys. We're just fortunate he ain't throw that one in the end zone. Here he goes, first down. Oh, he got him. He, he beat him off the press, man. The pressure just came too quick. We'll take that. And he drops it. Fourth down, man. We're going to punt it. Here you go, man. It's first and 10. We got a D up. Pick. Yo, EA, bro. EA, bro. There's no way. Nah, man. We're looking at this. There is no way. No way we don't get that. How do we not get that? How do we not get that? Bro, how do we not get that? It's third down. Can we get them off the field? Uh, I think we did. He's short. He Just inches short. That probably should have been the first down, man. Let's see if they go for it. They're going to punt it. Let's go. Great blocking. The biggest run of the day by far. Here goes third and three. We're going to the ground. And nothing there at all. All right, so we're in that no man's land. So we're going for it here. Fourth down. And dang, bro. Not only did we throw a pick. Here he goes. It's, Terry Wilson can't make that tackle. He makes the tackle. I was about to say a pick six. So that was a big mistake. Let's go. We get an interception right back. Calvin Joseph. His second pick of the day, baby. Hey. <laughs> we were fortunate for that guy. All right, bro. Okay. It's man-to-man -man coverage. I'm trusting we'll get there on that comeback route. Cornerback just made a heck of a play. 
Throwing the football. And a little short. Right, so here we go. Second and goal. Going with an option, and they get in there, man. Castillo with his second rushing touchdown of the day. This is a 10-point game again. All right, let's go back to what we were doing before. Okay, we're going to take that. We'll get those 10 yards. And let's go. Way to make that catch, baby. Riggs going to lower that shoulder, too, and get to about the 20. Here we go. Look at that. Great blocking. The hole opened up. We're inside the five. Here we go. Second to goal. And we're in there. No, we're not in there. Bro, how do you not fall forward on that, man? We should get in there. We're in there, baby. Touchdown. Extending our lead right back. As long as they don't score extremely quickly, we're in, we're in a very good spot. All right, here we go. It's third and 10. And dang, bro. They moved the chains with that. Quarterback's going to run. Look at him just running our guys over, man. They're across midfield. Right down the middle of the field. He's wide open, man. Just separated from Robinson. I thought I jumped that, too. Here we go. Slip screen. We're there. Great tackle. Going to force a fourth down. All right. Can we get them off right here? Fourth and six. Hold them to nothing. That's a win. And they score, man. Wide open in the back of the end zone. Good drive from Mississippi State. Goes third and seven. Can we pick up the first? Stiff arm. Is he going to get it? Oh, man. We're going to be a yard short. One timeout left. We're going to go for it. I know we can kick a field goal and make it a 13 point game, but 13 to 10 is not a crazy difference. We're going to try to end the game right here. Can we get it? Can we get it? We do. Chris Rodriguez lowered his shoulder, moves the chains, and that's a wrap. We're going to just come out and take a knee. All right, guys. So 31 to 21, the final score. We technically only won by 10, but I felt like we played a lot better than that final score. We had 355 yards of offense, so they're 266. Um, the turnovers were tied up at two a piece, man. Taking a look at the individual stats, Terry Wilson, 15 for 22, 249, one touchdown. He did throw two picks. Um, running the ball a lot better than the previous games. Still, you know, we would like to be more efficient. Only four yards to carry, but we're still able to get 77 yards on the ground from Chris Rodriguez. Um, receiving, Bryce Oliver, 4 for 32. Josh Ali, 4 for 82. He's the one that caught the deep ball. Justin Rigg, 4 for 69. Uh, Cleveland Thomas um, Jr., 2 for 63. On the defensive side of things, man, Devontae Robinson led us in tackles with four. Um, really not the usual suspects. Corker, only two tackles um, in this ball game. We did get a sack from Marquan McCall, and then our two interceptions both came from Kelvin Joseph. All right, guys, so we have quite a few guys. Actually, a total of three players signed with us this week, man. First and foremost, we have a three-star quarterback coming along, man. The number 20th ranked scrambling quarterback. He is 6'5", though, 210. So he definitely has, definitely has the size. 83 speed, 86 throw power, only 67 accuracy. So hopefully, you know, he could get that ramped up over time, man. But uh, that's a huge get for us, man. We're able to get him over Missouri, Ole Miss, Arkansas and Mississippi State. Then we got a four star, Matt McPherson. Remember, all these guys, their names are going to change once I put you guys into the uh, recruiting classes. But a four star center, 6'5, 275, a little bit on the smaller end, in my opinion. But look at this man, 81 run, run blocking, not the greatest pass block in the world. I think he'll be solid. And then we had to get a kicker. We got a kicker, three star kicker, man, 6'2, 13. Let's scout him all the way. Uh, not the greatest kick power or kick accuracy, but we needed a kicker and we needed a punter. So we were able to land both of those. We did lose a quarterback, um, Steven Smith, four-star, 6'4", 218. He is going to go play at Ohio State. I don't want to waste points fully scouting him, um, but we didn't really try too hard. Once It was apparent early that we were going to be uh, well behind in that race, so we kind of gave up there. 
As for the SEC games in week nine, we won 31 and 21. Coastal Carolina did upset LSU. We seen that earlier. Ole Miss taking care of business against ODU. Arizona State dominated our Kansas, man, 31 to 10. Missouri defeating South Carolina, stopping that crazy win streak that South Carolina was, you know, building up. Vandy couldn't get it done again. Maybe that one win against Georgia was a fluke. They lost to AM. Um, Auburn barely beating ECU, but they got the win. Georgia bounced back win against Washington State. Florida taking care of business against FCS. And then Bama straight dismantling Tennessee 52 to 7, man. So we have a bye week 10, so no game from us. But the next episode, we will have our week 11 game against Missouri. They are currently 2-5. and five. We see, we will see where they are then. And then uh, week 12, we have our game against the 1-7 um, Vanderbilt. So we'll see if uh, they get another win. Hopefully not, man. Hopefully, you know, we can come back and get these big wins. Those will be huge. If we can win both of those next episode, go to 5-5. Five and five. We just need one more win to be bowl eligible. And that is our ultimate goal for season one, man. But I think that's pretty much everything, man. We're going to go ahead and leave it right there. You guys will see the Heisman Watch current. Currently, it's Travis Etienne on top of the Heisman list, man. But as usual, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you guys are, please do me a big favor. And please go ahead and leave this video a like, man. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy, D-Lord. I'm going to see you all next time. Peace.